Hey everybody, it's Comic Order 410. I'm just now getting around to doing a quick video of some art prints and original art that I picked up a few weeks back at Baltimore Comic Con. I did commission four sketch covers, one of which I'll show in an upcoming video. But my SL Gallant, Kevin Eastman, and Joseph Michael Linsner sketches are with CBCS being graded right now, so obviously it's going to be a few months before I see those. But this year, I had the pleasure of meeting one of my favorite artists, Mark Schultz. I think he's one of the most underrated artists in the business. His work is gorgeous. He was heavily influenced by many of the EC greats who I love, uh, especially Wally Wood and Al Williamson, and you can totally see that in his work. He had some original art for sale at his table, but it was very expensive, so I just bought two of his art books and the two art prints he had for sale. This one's called Storms at Sea. Beautiful piece that he did for an illustrated novel. And I'm a big fan of Mark Schultz's Cadillacs and Dinosaurs and Xenozoic Tales. So I was very happy he had a dinosaur print. And this print was done as a benefit. All proceeds from this print go towards paleontology research. It's also signed by the scientist who discovered this new type of Triceratops that Mark Schultz so beautifully rendered. And as you can see, there's nobody in the business that draws dinosaurs as well as Mark Schultz. So I was happy to get my hands on that one. I had mentioned that I got a commission from S.L. Gallant. And I think he's one of the best kept secrets in the comic industry. He's just a fantastic artist. I'm surprised Marvel or DC hasn't snatched him up, but nonetheless, I'm fine with that because he works on G.I. Joe, and I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan. And if you ever get to meet Shannon, you'll see that he is truly a, a huge fan of G.I. Joe, and that's why he brings so much passion to the book he works on and does a great job. But he had these pencil sketches already done at his table that he had done for an upcoming sketchbook. And they were so reasonably priced, I had to buy two of them, I couldn't leave them. He had this Huntress pencil sketch that I snatched up. And this gorgeous rendition of Valkyrie as well. So, yeah, he's fantastic. If you're a G.I. Joe fan, or just a fan of great art, check him out if he comes to your show. Also finally had the pleasure of meeting one of my favorite Bronze and Silver Age artists, Local Baltimore guy and legendary Marvel penciler Ron Wilson. Um, I, I was kind of stuck on what to get from him because I discovered his work on Marvel 2-in-1. So I brought a Fantastic Four blank in hopes that I could at least get him to do a thing head sketch for me. But when I got to his table, he had full artboard size pieces for sale. And the prices were not only somewhat reasonable, he gave me a, a discount because he saw I had an Orioles hat on and I wanted three of them. So he gave me a nice break and hell of a nice guy. And everything worked out great because not only did I get a better thing piece than I would have got on a blank cover, I got a He-Man piece. Ron Wilson, as many of you know, did every issue of the 1980s Marvel Masters of the Universe series. So I'm a huge Masters of the Universe fan. And I was stoked to get this He-Man done by Ron Wilson. I'm glad that he left the pencil roughs underneath. A lot of them go back and erase that. I actually really like that. I think it adds to the piece. And I couldn't make up my mind between these two when I saw them. So I bought them both. Couldn't leave this behind. Many of you know I'm a huge Jim Steranko fan as well. Ron did this incredible swipe of King Size Hulk number one. Great, great rendition of Steranko's cover with the thing in place of the Hulk and uh, I could not leave that there. Actually the guy behind me in line was pissed I bought that. He's like that's the one I had my eye on too so great great detail on that. And last but certainly not least when I saw this at the table could not leave it behind. Ron Wilson with a beautiful rendition of Thanos fighting thing and uh, especially when you're talking things solo series, Ron Wilson's certainly one of the greatest artists to work on things. So, so happy to have these pieces. And I'm very happy with what I got for what I spent at this year's show. And uh, hopefully 
I'll be able to get all three of these framed and hung up on the wall soon. So may have to wait till tax returns, but definitely, definitely happy with meeting Ron Wilson. And he was a hell of a nice guy. So that's always a great bonus when you're excited to meet somebody and they turn out to be nice. So I had nothing but great experiences with every creator I met this year at Baltimore. So everyone, as always, I appreciate you taking the time to stop by. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your comics.